This is watermelon number three. Listen to this. I don't know, but here's the bottom. So when you're trying to pick a ripe watermelon, there's a couple things to look for. See how dark green this watermelon is right here? Now notice the lighter color of green in there. That's one thing. Secondly, see all that webbing on the bottom of the um, watermelon? That's another thing to look for. The more webbing, the better. Also, the color, the light color at the bottom where it's been resting on the ground. If it's white, it's definitely not ripe. Uh, light yellow um, is, is pretty good, but dark yellow is really good. The other thing I do is I thump the watermelons because I'm listening for a hollow sound. If you go around and thump a few different watermelons, you'll notice the different sound between them. I hope so. It's pretty yellow, yeah. Did you thump? Did you thump it? Did you thump it? Yes, we did. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, well, not as red as I would like it. But well, it smells. Does it? Really? I have a watermelon joke. <laughs> Some taste test. Oh, that's sad. Sad for you, my friend. I don't know. Real good or just okay? These are the seeds I'm saving for next year's crop. Thanks for watching Hobie Farms. God bless you and have a great day.